I don't like to make guarantees, but here's one. Someone will win their first ever state championship in the 3A Division I state title game. These are the picks. Welcome into the picks presented by All Star Inflatables, your guide to the Texas high school football state championship games. My name is Greg Tepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're previewing the 3A Division I state title game. 7 o'clock Thursday night at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. It's the Class 3A Division I state championship game, pitting the Jim Ned Indians against the Hallettsville Bramas. What are the keys to this matchup? Key number one, do I know you? The answer is yes, and follow me on this, but this is kind of bizarre. This is a rematch of a game on October 2nd on a neutral field in Lano where Jim Ned took down Hallettsville 24 to 21 in what was a real defensive slugfest. Yeah, by the way, you know who Hallettsville beat to make it to the state championship game? Lano! Just really bizarre the way things work out. But this is a question of how far these two teams have come. Obviously, a really close matchup the first time around. But how much have these teams changed since they met up? Key number two, Jonathan Brooks. I don't have a pun or anything like that. Jonathan Brooks is an extraterrestrial. He is a different kind of player. And the running back for Hallettsville has been arguably the best player in the state especially during the playoffs. He was now over 3,200 yards rushing. He has 59 rushing touchdowns on the season, and that doesn't count his special teams touchdowns. That doesn't count his defensive efforts. He has two interceptions in their state semifinal win and brought one of them back for a touchdown. He is a monster. He's over 60 touchdowns for the season. Here's a complete list of all the players who have ever scored 60-plus touchdowns in a season in UIL Texas high school football 11-man history. Are you ready? Jonathan Gray twice, and Joseph Sadler at Divine. And now Jonathan Brooks. That's it. That's the list. He is a monster and fully capable of single-handedly taking over this game. So, can Jim Ned contain Jonathan Brooks, or will Jonathan Brooks put on a show? In key number three, Jim Ned pulls the rope. This is not a Jim Ned team that has a Jonathan Brooks on their sideline. And I think Matt Fanning would tell you they are not a team that has superstars. Now, they got guys I really like. Okay, running back Xavier Wishart has been great. I think quarterback Tate Yardley is really underrated. But this is a Jim Ned team that is greater than the sum of their parts. They have a bunch of dudes who all do right, who swarm to the football, who hold their blocks, who make plays. They are one of those teams that, in a lot of ways, feels like a team of destiny. They started the year unranked in Dave Campbell's Texas football, those dummies. And now they're in a state championship game for the second time in program history, looking to bring home their first ever state championship to Tuscola. This is a remarkable story. And what it's about is all these guys doing their job. Can they do their job on the big stage? Who am I picking? I'm going with Jim Ned. I'm a believer. I think what the Indians have done lately has turned me into a convert for the Indians. I think what they have been doing ever since their upset win over Brock, has been simply stunning. And the defense is playing just so good right now. Their defense is swarming to the football, and they are making big-time plays at the key moment. Beyond that, I think that the balance that they have on the offensive side, when you're talking about quarterback Tate Yardley and running back Xavier Wishart, is going to give them a little bit of an edge in this game. Now look. Hallettsville's got the guy. Hallettsville's got a guy in Jonathan Brooks that plain and simple can take over this game and win it single-handedly. You remember uh, what happened with Jordan Whittington for Quero a couple of years ago? It could be like that. Jonathan Brooks is that good. But I think that Jim Ned's got a little bit of magic in him. I think the Indians bring home their first ever state championship. And those are the picks. What am I wrong about? Leave comments down below. Don't forget that subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at DCTF. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Dave Campbell's. Follow us on Instagram, instagram.com slash Dave Campbell's, and of course, see us at texasfootball.com, where you can find complete coverage of the 2020 Texas High School Football State Championship games at texasfootball.com slash state. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the 3A Division I state title game. Be safe. Wear a mask. We'll see you.